Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Gemini. This is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And this is for uh, November, okay? So at any time in November, this card just fell out. Fear, worries, tense situations, dagger. So you may be having some fear. You may be having some fear during this time. You may be in a tense situation that is making you scared. Um, yeah, I mean, that's what it looks like to me. So let's get a couple of these. You're obviously in a tense situation that is causing you fear. What do we have for Gemini? That's my cats playing in the background. What do we have for Gemini? Ooh, boxing gloves. You may have to fight. I hate to say that, but you may. Maybe put in a situation where you need to. I mean, sometimes you gotta stick up for yourself. Ooh, we must be dealing with an ass. They will not change ever, ever. So there's somebody that is never, ever, ever going to change. You know, maybe you need to decide to not fight with them anymore. I'd be like, you know what? I'm sick of it. I can't deal with the fear. I can't deal with the worry. I can't deal with this situation anymore. I'm hanging up my gloves. You're never going to change. Goodbye. I just got chills. So I don't know if that's the answer, but usually chills are confirmation. Anyhow, what do we have for Gemini? Sun, moon, rising, Venus. What do we have for Gemini? Oh, there it is. Five of Michael. So this is five of swords. Wonderful. This situation doesn't serve you. Release your attachment to the outcome. Consider taking a more uplifting approach. This situation does not serve you. This is fighting constantly. This is being competing with somebody. Okay, do you want to fight all the time? It's a constant battle, okay? It's time to walk away. The situation doesn't serve you. Release your attachment to the outcome. You need to release yourself from this situation. You need to walk away. Like, it's interesting. Whoever you're dealing with is an ass. They will win it. They want to win at all costs. This person is extremely stubborn. Extremely. Consider taking a more uplifting approach. And, and Five of Swords is tension. So there's a lot of tension here. What do we have for Gemini? Six of Pentacles reverse. The first card Taurus got as well. We got two more. We got the three of pentacles reversed and the it looks like the page of wands to me. That's paint. That's writing a new pi picture, creating a new picture, right? Creating a new uh, masterpiece. Three of, three of pentacles reversed, no teamwork, no, no togetherness, lack of respect. They're not giving. There's a lack of reciprocation. Next to the six of, six of pentacles reversed, there's no teamwork. You're not getting what you deserve. You could be dealing with somebody that has you in a third party situation. Maybe they're cheating on you. Maybe they're working with somebody else. And we could be even having, I mean, I mean, the ace, I mean, that's a page. It looks like it's the page of wands, but. That's taking a new approach. You need to, and that is it. Consider taking a more uplifting approach. 100%. That's the same. I mean, I know that's not the same card, but take, and the, the page of wands is about taking a more positive approach. You're dealing with somebody that you can't win. Five of, my, five of Michael, five of swords, five of swords, you can't win. You can't win. You need to create a new story. You need to create a new picture for yourself. Create a new vision. 
Okay, you you have the power. You have the power. But right now, it's really like the power has been stripped. You've let this person disrespect you. Somebody is disrespecting you. They aren't giving you what you deserve. You know, they are. This is a. It's like very one sided. Four of Wands reversed. Two of Pentacles reversed. The world card present. So that is the end. This is the end of a journey. This is the end of a cycle. You've learned some sort of lesson. Whoever this person is that you've been dealing with that does not respect you, that does not give you what you deserve, that has been juggling you with somebody else, that has been causing so much imbalance, who isn't really committed that you've been committed to, this person has caused you a lot of unhappiness. You know, the, maybe the honeymoon is definitely over. Four of Pentacles, I mean, Four of Wands reversed below you. I feel like you've been committed to this person and now it's like, I wish that I never got engaged with this. I wish I never got, never came here. I wish that I never, this is like, um, things not turning out, like the commitment not turning out the way you had hoped or not a happy home. Some of this may even be home related. You know, this is like, not fitting in. I, I don't fit in. This is not where I want to be. I wish I could go back, you know. There could be a sad farewell that is coming up. This, is, this isn't comfortable. I think that you've bitten off more than you can chew uh, with somebody. Somebody that isn't giving you what you deserve. There could even be a loss of money here. Maybe you've lost a lot of money or you've, you've bought in something or you've got engaged with somebody or you've committed to somebody who's just draining you in some way or you've, some of you, this may even have to do with a home. Four of, four of pentacles, or four, I keep on saying four of pentacles, don't I? Four of wands in reverse could be, or up Right? It could have to do with the home. It has to do with the foundation, engagement, commitment. It's, this is very unhappy. It's unhappy. This is like not turning out as you had hoped. Um, some of you may even, it's like you don't fit in. You don't fit in. But anyhow, the, the, the above you presently is the world card. So the world card is a major completion of a cycle. A lesson has been learned. I think that you've uh, you've been, I mean, behind you is a two of pentacles. This is reverse. This is lacking balance, lacking organization, making a poor decision. Maybe you made a poor financial decision or a poor decision about a partner that you got engaged with or got married to or got committed to or whatever the case is. Maybe have to do with a home. Some of you may, because four of wands can be a home. So this may be something that you committed to in regards to a home. Could be a purchase of a home. Anyhow, two of pentacles reversed is overwhelmed i think that you've been overwhelmed you're you this is in the past though you've been overextending yourself uh, maybe there's a financial loss maybe you had no plan of leaving or no plan of of this happening but all of a sudden it's all of a sudden things are falling apart i mean that's what it feels like to me um there could be uprooting here or somebody that is homesick or they or you know they just want to get out of this commitment i wish that i could get out of this commitment there's there's a loss of income here. There's a loss of money. There's a loss of stability. Um, there's no togetherness. There's no teamwork. There's no team players here. Um, lack of respect. Not putting in much effort. There could be even somebody's, somebody's letting go of the home. You know, they're not taking care of the home. Um, they want something else. You know, they're looking for a new place or they need a new place to live. Anyhow, the world card is a major completion, lesson learned. Something has happened that has caused your evolution. You're in a tense situation right now where things are up in the air. You're feeling uncomfortable and unbalanced because you're, whoever you're dealing with um, doesn't respect you at all. They don't respect you. I don't know if they are, have you in a third party. Hair on my face. Anyway, the world card is a major completion of a cycle. It's the end, the end. So things are coming to an end. They're coming to an end for you because that's in the present. So things are coming to an end. You've reached the end of a phase of your life. Buy a cat here. I feel like you, this is a financial decision, and I feel like you may feel like, you know, you don't have enough money or you made a poor financial decision to. I don't know, this may have to do with moving or a commitment. Strength card reversed in your future. Star card reversed in your advice. Queen of Pentacles. Two of Cups. 
cups. And judgment as your overall outcome. So this is making a judgment call, making a life-changing decision. That's your outcome. You're going to be making a big decision. It's interesting because Taurus had this as well. So I don't know if you're dealing with Taurus. But anyhow, this is a judgment call. Making a judgment call, making a, a final decision about a situation. You're gonna, you are be, gonna, going to be. This, this has to do with uh, a life-changing decision, the end of things. The end of one life, the beginning of a new one. I got chills again, so that's a yes answer. You do have a partnership here. You, you do have a partnership here, but you have to forgive the past. You have to release the past. You also have to forgive yourself. Whew, the chills are strong. I'm strong, Gemini, by the way. So anyhow, there's, there's something about forgiveness here. It's time for a new life. Um, Queen of Pentacles upright in your outside influence. <laughs> Queen of Pentacles upright is stable, solid, secure, independent, hardworking. You're capable. You're capable. You have some sort of skill. You're stable. You can be stable. You, you are skilled at whatever it is that you do. The Queen of Pentacles has a golden opportunity for security. So some of you have the whatever skill that you need to be secure. All you have to do is replace your fear, okay? Because in your future, we have the strength card reversed. There's fear. There's a lack of courage. There's a lack of confidence. There's a lack of willpower. There's also... Uh, low self-esteem, low self-confidence, whoever you're dealing with that doesn't respect you has made you, has diminished your self-confidence and your self-respect. There's a lack of self-respect here because this per I don't know who the hell you're dealing with. I probably do, but whatever. You're dealing with somebody that is very disrespectful. They've done this before and they're going to do it for the rest of their lives. This is somebody that is very arrogant. This is definitely an ass, okay? This is somebody that... Um, you need to walk away from with that five of swords you need to put up the fighting gloves you need to put up the boxing gloves and walk away you are i think that a lot of you are very worried we have the worry you're worried about a partnership you're worried about not finding love or you're worried about um being alone you're very capable of being alone you you are you're capable of being alone you don't need to be with somebody that is abusive because the five of swords is abuse okay that is abuse mental abuse verbal abuse um you're dealing with somebody that is extremely egotistical. Um, could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. It could be um, an Aquarius, Leo, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Scorpio. Whatever is happening. Okay, you need to. There's gonna, you're going to get some sort of epiphany. You're going to realize something. There's some sort of truth. There's some sort of truth that you are going to realize or something like that or some truth that is going to be revealed. You have a chance. Judgment is a chance. It's a chance for a new life, a new partnership. But you're going to have to get rid of that fear. You have to get rid of that fear. You have to take a new adventure. That Ace of Wands, or I, well, I keep saying it's Ace of Wands. It's a Page of Wands. It's a new adventure. It's a new exciting opportunity. You have an opportunity here. Maybe somebody is bursting into your world. They're coming to help you. You're, they're giving you an opportunity to break free from something. Um, you're going to have to just do it. You have to just do it, okay? You have to just do it. Just do it. Um, I think that you've made some sort of decision that has affected your money. It has affected your finances. It has affected your balance. It's very unbalanced here. You haven't been getting what you deserve. You haven't been getting, and if this isn't in a partnership, this could have to do with a job. There's definitely a lack of respect, whether it's people that you work with or somebody that you live with. It has to do with a foundation, okay? There's a lack of respect, okay? You don't fit in with this, this group or these people or this place or this person. You just, there's a lack of uh, fitting in. And I do think that uprooting is imminent. You know, perhaps uprooting is imminent. Major completion of a cycle. Uh, surrendering those gloves. Surrendering, walking away from the battle. I feel like you're, you, you feel weak. You're depleted. You're depleted. What's this strength card reverse in the future? Fearful. Fearful. Fearful of the fool. Fearful of starting over. Fearful of taking a risk. 
In the future, it's t you need to take a risk. You need to have faith. You need to let go of your fear. Replace that fear with faith. And I think that you're going to. I think that you're really scared to step into unknown territory because the strength card is reversed, okay? That's what I was clarifying. The strength card reversed with the fool upright. You need to replace your fear with faith. You have a new phase of life that is beginning. This is freedom. Okay, the fool is freedom. This is spur of the moment. It's taking a risk, doing something on a whim. You have to leave your fears behind. You're going to have to do something spontaneous. Okay? You have to step forward in blind faith in the new territory. You are going to be receiving an opportunity from somebody. Some, I feel like there's help with that Queen of Pentacles because that's a secure offer. I feel like you're going to be getting a secure offer from somebody. Maybe it's a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I'm not sure, but it, it could be. Whoever this person is, this person is solid. They're real. They're grounded. They have the means, the, 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 the real, they have something real to offer you, something uh, that can bring you stability or security or whatever it is. Um, you do have a partnership here. You do have a partnership here, but you have to release. Okay, we have the Two of Cups and we have Judgment. Okay, Two of Cups is a partnership. It's a union, a very compatible partnership. But the, the Judgment is a card of release. It's a card of forgiveness. It is a card. It's a card of absolution. Okay, people always want to say, oh, it's a reconciliation. Oh, that's what your delusions want you to think, right? Let's only make it positive. Judgment is the end of things. You think about Judgment Day. Okay, it's absolution. All right? It's absolution. It's the end of something. It's 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 uh forgiving, releasing. Accepting, being held accountable. Seven of Pentacles on that judgment. Now, Seven of Pentacles is about investing. And when I see that judgment card, I think of releasing the past, because that's what that is. Forgiving, being forgiven. That's what I see as judgment. I don't see judgment as a reconciliation very seldom. Illusionists do, but I don't. Seven of Pentacles. That's investing. Okay, this is about investment. It's about investing in new territory, planting seeds someplace else. This season is over. It's time for a new life. It's time for a new life. It's time for you to plant your seeds someplace else. It's time for you to move on from the past. It's time for you to forgive yourself, forgive others, move on from the past. It's a time of absolution. You have to make a life-changing decision. I think you're going to be making a life-changing decision. Um, time's up. Time's up. Time's up. It's time to stop investing in something where there's no more growth. It's time to climb that ladder. It is. It's time to climb that ladder. There's, there's fertile ground someplace else. There's some, I also feel like there's something that you are, have invested in some time ago, maybe years ago, that is coming to fruition now. And I got chills again. You do have a part. Maybe there's somebody from your past. Maybe that's why we got reconciliation here. We may, because underneath that judgment is the two of cups. Maybe you're going to reconcile with somebody from your past. Way past. Some of you may be even getting some help from a mother. Stepping into new territory, leaving it all behind, leaving it all behind, especially your fears. Leave your fears behind. You have a new opportunity here. You do. You do. With the Page of Wands and the Two of Cups, you have a new opportunity here. You have to forgive. You have to, you have to forgive. You have to forgive. There's something that you need to forgive. Some of you, it's, this is about moving, leaving the past behind, relocating. <coughs> Maybe it's time to relocate. Some of you are going to be relocating. This is a life-changing decision to go someplace else. So, yeah. 
I feel like you're going to be receiving an offer because your outside influence is the queen of pentacles. She's got a, she or he, okay, it's a queen, but it's a she or he has an opportunity for you. This is something that you can, it's secure. It's going to give you security. It could be a home, something you can touch. It could be keys. It could be a job offer. It could be whatever it is. It's a golden opportunity that can lead you down a new path to abundance. Okay. So somebody has an opportunity for you. I feel like it's an earth sign. This is a business. It could even be a business opportunity. It could be somebody that is, this is like a business woman or a businessman or somebody that is in a position where they have the, um, authority to give you this offer could be a mother could be a mother but the star card reversed down in your this is like a loss of hope doubtful it's like you've lost your hope you you're doubtful you're doubtful that you're ever going to get out of this situation you know i feel like you're depressed you know you've let fear take over you have no faith i think your faith is be your faith is being tested this month your faith in humanity your faith in yourself you need to find your self-confidence and your self-esteem. Maybe you need to swallow your pride because strength card reversed is all about pride. Maybe you need to swallow your pride and just do something spontaneous. Okay, we all have pride. Every single one of us. Um, no hope. Despair. You're feeling hopeless. You're feeling hopeless. This isn't what I asked for. This isn't what I asked for. That, you know, but I feel like you need to ground yourself. You need to be practical. You need to be realistic. You need to make a plan. You need to get planning. You need to plan your way out of this situation. Holding on is getting old. We have the death card reverse. It is getting old. This is like a near death experience. You don't want to die in this situation. Now, there's going to be upheaval. There is going to be upheaval. Somebody has definitely been held back from their new life. They've been held back by fear and they've and because they've let fear stay in the way there's been a lot of worry and tense situations but this cycle of your life is coming to an end it is there's probably going to be an argument with the five of swords and those boxing gloves there's probably going to be a big fight okay um ready to be judged have somebody here that is ready they're ready they're ready for a new life it's judgment day i mean judgment day is right here Time to invest in new territory, investing in new territory. Release, release the past, release. Freedom, freedom, the world card is freedom. Freedom from this battle, freedom from this tense situation. You're going to be breaking free from something. Again, with the fool, breaking free, finding the courage, stepping forward in blind faith into new territory. What is this? Two of Cups. Some of you may be connecting with somebody new. We do have a new beginning here. Fool is right next to the Nine of Cups. So this is a new beginning. Maybe some of you have a new partnership here. Maybe your fear is getting in the way of you accepting. Judgment is a card of acceptance. You know, maybe somebody's investing in you and maybe you need to start investing in them. We definitely have a partnership here that is compatible. It is compatible. Um, what is this two of cups? Accept. It's time. It's time for a new life. Something like that. that. I feel like you've worked really, really, really hard to make something work, but it's time to release it. It's time to release it. The situation doesn't serve you. Release your attachment to the outcome. Oh my God. It doesn't serve you. It's time for a new life. Okay, it's time for your resurrection. It's time for you to live again. Okay, it's time for you to go someplace else. Some of you are going to be relocating. It's time to walk away. You need to replace that fear with faith and just do it. That is what the fool card is. Just do it. And some of this may have to do with choice. You may have options. You may have many options. I got chills again. That's probably a yes. You have, there's, what is this two of cups? Seven of swords reversed. Coming clean, opening up. 
Let go, let go, let go. Find a new approach. The Emperor. The Emperor. There's two of cups. Take charge. Somebody may be coming clean. They may be opening up to you. Maybe they were lying. They were lying about the connection. The Emperor. The Emperor is uh, somebody that takes charge, that is battle ready, that is ready to fight. This is somebody who um, bases decisions on facts, making a decision. That Seven of Swords reverse is taking a new approach. Somebody's going to be taking a new approach. They've been thinking, they're planning. Um, They've been deceitful. Somebody's been deceitful. Lying. Protecting themselves. Big protection here. Look at the armor. We have somebody here that has been protecting. I feel like you have a protector that is coming in as well. Could be a father. We al I also saw a mother as well. Two of cops. We have a leader here, we have a boss, we have somebody here that is about to take charge. Something is about to be revealed. Oh my goodness, Knight of Pentacles. So you're gonna be getting that solid offer, that, stabi that stable offer that I was telling you about. You definitely are. You have an offer that is coming in. This is something real. This is a planner. There's somebody here that has been planning something. Maybe they've been planning an escape or they've been planning to, because the Seven of Swords could be an escape. They've been using their logic. They've been, they've been, uh, they have, when they make a decision, they have to think of everybody involved because this is a leader. This is somebody that is in a position of authority. Definitely. Um, Anyhow, the Knight of Pentacles, this is somebody that, and it's interesting that it's so cold, because I feel like somebody has been cold, they've been so cold, maybe you're going to be moving this winter, I don't know. You have somebody here that is um, in a position of authority, that has been behind the scenes, this person has been behind the scenes, they are about to own up, or come clean, or come out, they're about to come out, okay? Um... And they're going to be giving you some sort of offer. They're going to be giving you an offer that leads you to, I think it leads to freedom and it leads to stability. This is something that you can, maybe it's a new job offer. Could be a new job offer, could be a new home, could be a new, could be a raise. <laughs> or it could just be a new commit. This could be a proposal. Okay, it could be a proposal. You're going to be receiving something from somebody that... Uh, it's a golden opportunity for success. And, but you will have to replace your fear with faith and step into unknown territory, uncharted territory, someplace you've never been. This may require moving. And you may end up moving to someplace that you don't, didn't expect. I feel like there's a protector here. I really do. Planning, planning to make an approach. Somebody's been planning something. And maybe it's time for you to get planning. You, maybe you need to take charge. Maybe you need to make an escape from a partner that has been abusing you. Maybe you need to plan your departure. Maybe you need to get somebody involved, you know, that is in a position of authority that can help you. One more card. The end of a situation with a judgment card, okay? It's the end of a trial. It's the end. You've learned some sort of lesson, okay? It's time to move on. Ooh! You got another option here. This is an unexpected choice in love. Now, that's a choice between two people. Whenever you get the lovers, there's obviously two options, Okay? So you have a choice here. You are going to have to make a choice. This is an unexpected choice in love, an unexpected union. Um, somebody's going to want you to give them a chance. There could be a proposal here. There could definitely be a new partnership here, a new proposal. 
falling in love with somebody new. I don't know. You may be falling in love with somebody. We got lovers right on top of the fool. It goes fool, lovers, judgment. So we have a, a making a judgment call, making a decision about us partnership, needing to replace that fear with faith and step into new territory. This could be a perfect match. It's time to invest in new fertile ground. Okay. It's time to let go of your. So I'm not sure where that ended, but you have a new opportunity here. Okay. You have a new opportunity here. You have, you're being called to give somebody a chance to invest, invest, invest in new territory. Okay. You need to walk away from the abuse. You need to walk away from the, the power struggle, the one that is causing you so much uh, fear, worry, and tense, tense situations. Okay. You need to walk away from that. Okay. That person's never going to change. I feel like it, when you walk away, when you make that decision, cause this is all about decisions. When you make that decision, when you have learned your lesson, you, it's almost like you run into somebody that is a perfect match. So anyway, Gemini, I feel like November is going to be a month of Well, the, if you think about the page of wands, that's taking a new adventure. Somebody could be bursting into your world out of nowhere. This is a perfect match. This, you could run into somebody. I saw that with the seven of swords reverse. Like you're not looking where you're going. You just run right into somebody. You do have an exciting new opportunity here with somebody that is a perfect match. But, but there's always a but, isn't there? But you have, there's fear holding you back because you have to find your, one of our major life lessons is strength. Unfortunately, it's reversed in your future. You have to master that life lesson. And the world card is about mastering a life lesson. Okay. And in this case, it's strength. It's the strength to step forward in faith. It's the strength to let go of your fear. It's the strength to uh, be honest with yourself as well. I feel like you really need to be honest with yourself about who you're dealing with that is disrespectful to you. Anyhow, I feel like this month you're going to be investing in somebody else. And I think that somebody else is going to be investing in you. You're going to be deepening a bond with somebody. Um, somebody may want forgiveness. They may want you to give them a chance. They're going to start putting in effort. Okay. Somebody's going to start putting in effort. And maybe it's you, but this is not the person that you need to walk away from. Okay. I have to make that clear because there's abuse here. There's some sort of abuse that needs to end. You're going to be receiving a solid opportunity that is real. It's something, this person is stable. They're solid. They're, they are, they will protect you. They will protect you. And love you with the lovers and the two of cups. This is a perfect union. It's a perfect match. But if you want to allow yourself to be disrespected and be with somebody who is an ass, then that's your choice. That's your karma. That's, and this is about karma. Okay. Now judgment is about absolution. This could be the end of a karmic cycle with the world card. If you choose, because lovers is about choice. If you choose to step into unknown territory and replace your fear with faith, you could end this karmic cycle, but nobody's going to do it for you. You have to find your inner strength. You have to find your self esteem and your self confidence. And you have to take back your control. You have to take control. You have to take back your power. You have to be strong. You can't let people abuse you. That's one of your life lessons is strength. You're going to receive an offer that can break you free. I suggest you take it. Good luck.